So I've collected all of Minecraft's rarest mobs, but with the new 1.21 update, they just added 11 more. So I'm gonna have to get all of them. So let's see if we can do this without any disasters ruining everything. And we'll start with the wolf. Okay, I feel bad. That was a little bit brutal, but not that wolf, but the eight new variants that were just added with 1.21. So now just like cats, wolves have their own breeds, which all spawn in their own separate biomes and have varying degrees of rarity. First, I wanna see if I can find the black wolf because they spawn in the old growth taiga biome, which is this biome here in my spawn, which is also where the ender drag, what? Bro, how did you get out, man? Anyway, this is the biome that the black wolf spawns in. So let's see if we can find them. I'm not sure how rare they are, but I guess we'll find out. And oh yeah, I found out because because after 30 minutes of searching across three different gigantic taiga biomes, I finally came across them. Oh my god, finally, man. Almost 30 minutes of searching and I finally find these guys. Definitely a lot rarer than I thought they were gonna be. Anyway, let's give you a bone. Wow, that's really the first time I've gotten a pet on this world. Only 11,000 days in. Anyway, we'll go ahead and name you Buh. All right, come on, Buh. We're going home. And with our first new dog variant, I headed back home only to realize, wait, I literally have no place to put you or the rest of the mobs. So, uh, in typical Wilds fashion, let's spend the next six hours building a just slightly over the top vault to put all the new mobs into. And here you go, butt, your new prison cell. Ah, uh, I mean home, I mean home. But yeah, let's go ahead and spruce it up a little bit with some spruce trees and some grass so it kind of looks like his natural habitat. There you go, that's a little bit more hospitable. And that's one of eight. Next, let's go for the rusty wolf. Now, this wolf only spawns in the sparse jungle, and if I'm lucky, we should be able to find him pretty quick. Oh, there you are. That was a lot faster than the black wolf. Give you some bones. And we can name you, uh, I don't know, Tim. And for your enclosure, we'll build like a nice jungle theme. Next up, let's do the striped wolf, which I believe can be found in the wooded badlands. And this place is pretty barren, so it should be kind of easy to spot. Here you are. Oh, look like hyenas. And for you, I think we'll name you Rock. And of course, I'll theme your new home just like the badlands. Okay, next, let's get the ashen wolf, which can be found in the snowy taiga. And there's another snow theme wolf too that I've heard is a little bit more rare so we'll save that one until the end but let's see if we can find our ashen wolf probably gonna be a little bit harder to spot with the white snow but oh there you are boom and uh we'll name you uh uranium 235 okay and for you we'll have the first snow theme room next up we've got kind of a lame one with the wood wolf which as the name suggests just spawns literally in any of the woods biomes which makes it the most common of the new variants and you only get one tree in your cell because you're ugly also your name is morby next up we'll do the spotted wolf which can be found here in the savannah biome and there's not too many trees here, so they should be pretty easy to spot. Ah, here we go. For you, we'll build a savanna themed room. And your name can be... Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm out of name ideas. Your name can be this uh, random string of letters. There you go. Then, alright, we're almost done. Just two more. Second to last, we're gonna get the chestnut wolf, which spawns in the old growth spruce taiga. Wait, isn't that where the black wolf spawned? Oh no, the black wolf spawned in the old growth pine taiga, which is right next to the old growth spruce taiga. Bro, what even is the difference between these two biomes? They look exactly the same. Bro, whatever, let's just find this dog. Oh, uh, here you are, that wasn't too bad. All right, come on, man. And I guess we'll make your enclosure look pretty much just like your brother's. Why again are there two different dog breeds that spot in borderline identical biomes? Anyway, there we go. And we'll go ahead and name you Squirrel because chestnut. Okay, and last but not least, we have the rarest of all of the new wolves and that is the Snow Wolf, which unlike all of the other wolves that spawns in packs of four, this one only spawns by itself. It's a literal lone wolf. And on top of that, it only appears in a biome called the Grove Biome, which you might not even recognize by hearing that. But luckily there's a chunk of Grove Biome that surrounds my main base. So we might get lucky and get a spawn pretty quick, but I did not have that kind of luck. I flew around for for almost three full hours before finally. Oh, oh, there it is. Finally, bro. You have no idea how long I've been looking for you, dude. All right, let's go. All right, since you're the snowy wolf, I'll make your enclosure out of snow and I'll throw on some ice spikes to add some detail. And finally, we'll name you John. And there we go. That's all of the new wolf variants from 1.21. Okay, now we just have three more mobs, but I want to add some extra details to the vault before we get them. And Mojang just added 20 new paintings to the game. So I think we can decorate this downstairs area with them. So let me first 
build a staircase so we have a way to get down here. Okay, and then for the paintings themselves, I just need some sticks and wool. And now we just place and break them until we get all the new ones. And that's one, that's two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I'll go ahead and add a couple more details down here and then fill the rest of this empty space with just any of the other paintings. Okay, and I think that'll do it to brighten up the area just a little bit. Now let's go get those last three mobs. And the first of these three mobs I wanna get is the Bogged. And this guy is literally just a new variant of the skeleton mob. And I'm pretty sure he spawns in swamp biomes. So let's head there. So I don't think finding one is gonna be too difficult. We'll just sit in the swamp and wait for night and it should spawn pretty quick. Well, I'm not seeing any yet. Oh, here's one. Oh shoot, they poison you. Okay, all right, let's get them in this boat. And another nice feature that they added with the update is you can now put leads on boats, which makes transporting things a little bit easier. Now I just gotta drag you all the way back to base. You maybe stop shooting me though? Ow! Oh my God, please don't fall. I bro, I have your life literally dangling by a string. Maybe stop shooting me. Jeez, that was annoying. And I'll go ahead and name you Bogged Enough. Now I'll decorate your cell just like the swamp that we took you from. All right, looks good. Okay, the next mob is the armadillo. And I'm gonna need two of them because I wanna breed a bunch of them up for something that we're gonna do a little bit later in the video. And this mob spawns in the Badlands biome and the Savannah biome. And I don't think they're that rare either. So we should be able to find one pretty quickly. Here they are. Okay, so we'll get two of them and then get them back to base. All right, and of course we'll decorate your cell. And I know they don't spawn in the desert, but I'm gonna do a desert biome anyway to change up the colors a bit. You have got to be kidding me. I was trying to break the boat so they could get out. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Let me really quickly get a replacement. Okay, let's try and not kill you this time. And to breed the armadillos, we actually need to feed them spider eyes, as weird as that sounds. And I have a bunch stockpiled here from my raid farm, which completely doesn't work anymore due to the new update with ominous bottles. So rest in peace to that entire video. But anyways, we can use these eyes to breed up as, hello, do you wanna eat? I have to crouch up to them, okay. We can use these to breed as many as we want. Here we go. So let me just get like a couple hundred of them. Okay, this should definitely be enough. And look at them, if I move, they all turn into little roly polies. I really like this mob, actually. Anyway, the reason we need so much is if we take a brush, we can do, oh, that was really quick. You can use it on the armadillos to get scoots. And I didn't just get 49, they also drop off of them randomly, kind of like eggs. And what we can do with these scoots is if we take them out here, we can craft them into the new wolf armor, which we can then go ahead and put on all of our wolves. So now they'll be all protected. So let's make a bunch of armor for all of the wolves. And go ahead and put it on each one. Okay, looks good. Okay, and the last mob we need to get is the new Breeze mob. And these guys only appear in the new trial chambers, so we're gonna have to find one. In order to do that, I think I need to trade for a map with a max level cartographer villager, and the map will lead me straight to the chamber. So what I'll think I'll do is, like I mentioned before, this raid farm is completely defunct now due to the new update. So I think I'll take the villagers out of it and store them in the old redstone factory. So let me get them into some boats and bring them down. Okay, we've got everyone down here. Now we just need to trade with them until we get the map. After a bunch of trades, I I finally got the map and we're ready to go. Okay, wow, this thing seems like it's pretty far away. And that's just because the new update had to spawn the trial chamber in undiscovered chunks that I haven't been to yet or generated in the world. So we would probably have one that's a lot closer, but because of that, we're gonna have to fly pretty far. Okay, it should be right underground here. So let's dig down, try not to die. Okay, here we are. All right, what I decided I'm actually gonna do is before we get the mob, I wanna get the new weapon, the mace, which if you don't already know is the newest weapon added in the new update and it's also the most overpowered weapon Mojang has ever made. And in order to get the mace, I have to craft it using a breeze rod and an item called a heavy core. And the only way to get a heavy core is to first do something called an ominous trial, which is an upgraded version of the normal trials. And then I have a chance at getting a key. It's only like a 30% chance. And then from that key, I can open the ominous vault, which has a 7.5% chance of giving me the core. And you can only open these vaults once. So I'm probably gonna have to go to multiple multiple chambers if I want to get this item. Unless I get it first try here, but let's be real, I'm, I'm, I'm not that lucky. Anyway, I brought with me a bunch of gear that I'm gonna need for combat, including some golden apples for my gold farm. So I'm pretty stacked at this point in the game, so this should definitely be a breeze. Get it, a breeze? A breeze? Like the, like the, okay, never mind, never mind. Let's go. All right, here we are. And now what we need to do, oh shoot, is it already, it's already starting. I should have drank it first. Ah, oh, crap. All right, let's kill all these guys. 
Oh look, we got one of the normal keys. And I'm pretty sure these spawners will reset after a short amount of time, so I can do them again later. And we'll just keep doing them until we get all of the ominous vaults, which I'm not sure how many there are here. We gotta check that out. Let's just keep killing everything. Okay, now let's go to the next room. We'll drink the bottle first. And here we go. Now it actually should get a little bit difficult. Oh, that's the key we need. Nice. Okay, let's see how many more we can get. There's another key. Awesome. And another one. Holy crap. My luck is pretty good. Surely we'll get the core quickly, right? Surely. Surely. Ooh, okay. This room looks a little different. Oh, wow. There's a lot of spawners. And we already have five keys. Wow. Okay. But I've yet to see one of the vaults. I think I know what they look like. Oh, here's one. All right. First try. First try. Let's see. Okay, we didn't get it first try, but we did get a gapple as well as some diamonds. That's pretty good. And so the grind began and everything was going pretty smoothly until, oh my God, I am not, I am not paying attention. Oh crap. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Half a heart. That could have been the end of the hardcore world. Pro tip, always make sure you're wearing full armor. That was way too close. And after that scare, I kept on grinding and for the first time ever, I actually got lucky. Oh, no way. This is my third vault. I'm actually so lucky. There's only a 20% chance I get it in three attempts. For once, luck is on my side, thank God. And there we go, we have the new mace. I quickly ran back home to the villagers from before so I could trade with them to get the mace with full enchantments. And there we go, we have Minecraft's most powerful and hardest to get weapon they've ever released. Well, it's supposed to be hardest to get, but I got insanely lucky. So let's go back to the trial chamber and get what we were actually supposed to get in the first place. Okay, now actually getting the breeze is gonna be a little bit tricky. Because this chamber is underwater, I need to build some kind of tube to access it so that I can actually bring the breeze up without it drowning or anything. So I'll start by digging a hole so we can get a good entrance. Okay, since I accidentally started the trial, let's see if we can get this guy in a boat. All right, come here, bro. Oh, okay, got him. All right, now I'm gonna put you, all right, stop it. Put you in a box. Okay, stay, and we'll leave him there for now. So we have the breeze trapped. Now I just need to get him above ground. I think if I just widen this hole, we should be able to do so. Okay, now we have a way out to the surface. Now let's see if I can work some magic and use this lead to pull this boat up to the top. Okay, this is working, I think we're good. All right, we got you. Let's take you back to base, bro. Okay, we have the breeze trapped in here, and I went ahead and grabbed some materials from the trial chamber so we can decorate his vault to look just like his home. Okay, looks good. Now we just give you a name tag and get you in here. And there we go. That's every single mob from the 1.21 update, both rare and common, and all the paintings and new weapons. Now, I shouldn't have to collect any more mobs until Mojang adds like a new dimension or something, which let's be honest, they're never gonna do at this point. 